name is Jay Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate two integrals from exponential functions of exponential functions, I can say, right? So let's get started. First one, evaluate integral of e power x log e not e, this is a, okay, x log a plus e power a log x plus e power a log a into dx. Solution. So we are given integral e power x log a plus e power a log x plus e power a log a into dx. Since we know that a log b can be written as log b power a. So this becomes integral of e power log a power x plus e power log x power a plus e power log a power a into dx. Okay. And we know that e power log x to the base e equals to x. Okay. So this becomes e power log a power x. Consider it as x, x, x. Okay. Just compare with this formula and consider x equals to a power x, x equals to e power a, not e power a, x power a, sorry, and a power a. So you will get e log x is x plus again e power log x is x plus e power log x is x. Okay. Simply we are using this. Okay. Now we could write it as integral a power x dx plus integral x power a dx plus integral a power a into dx. Okay, so we know that integral a power x dx equals to a power x log a to the base e plus c and integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1. Okay, and integral dx equals to x plus c. Also, we are having integral some constant into function of x into dx equals to constant into integral function of x into dx. Okay. So, now this equals to, we are having integral a power x dx. So, Using formula, you will get a power x by log a to the base e plus x power a. This is of the form x power n, right? And for n not equals to minus 1, you will get or you can apply this formula for n not equals to minus 1. So, here you are having n as constant. So, you can use this formula, you will get x power a plus 1 by a plus 1 plus so here you are having some constant into 1 into dx now take the constant outside the integral you will get a power a into integral dx again you can write integral dx as x okay you are having the formula integral dx equals to x plus c so we are taking x constant 
See here we are using the formula constant integral constant to f of x dx can be written as constant into integral function of x into dx. So here we know we have function of x equals to 1. So you can take this constant outside the integral. So you'll get k and finally you'll get a power a into integral 1 into dx. 1 into dx is again dx. So you'll get a power a into integral dx is x. Okay. Plus integral constant. Okay. So that is equals to a power x by log a to the base e plus x power a plus 1 by a plus 1 plus a power a into x plus integral constant c. This completes the first problem. Now coming to the second one. Evaluate integral x by m plus m by x plus x power m plus m power x into dx. Okay, so you are having dx which is nothing but m is constant. Here x is a variable and m is a constant. Okay, fine. Solution. So now you could write it as. Integral of, okay, firstly write as it is, x by m plus m by x plus x power m plus m power x into dx, okay. Since m is constant, so you can write outside the integral, right? So this is equal to integral x by m into dx plus m by x into dx. Plus integral x power m into dx plus integral m power x into dx. Okay. So now I am going to take the constants outside the integral. We will get 1 by m into integral x dx plus m into integral 1 by x into dx plus x power m into dx plus m power x into dx. Now we are going to use the formula. Formula integral x power m integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1. Okay, plus c will have integral constant. And integral 1 by x dx equals to log mod x plus c and integral a power x dx equals to a power x by log a to the base e plus integral constant c. Okay, now we are going to apply these formulae. to 1 by m into you're having integral x dx so you're having x power 1 so for n equals to 1 we can apply this formula you'll get x power 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 plus constant m into integral 1 by x dx we have the formula integral 1 by x dx equals to log mod x so write log, log mod x plus here you are having x power m into dx. Here m is a constant and this is of the form x power n. Integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1. So now we can use this formula for n not equals to minus 1 since we are having n equals to some constant so we uh, so that we are applying the 
formula. You will get x power m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus integral constant power x into dx. We are having integral constant power x dx equals to constant power x by log constant to the base e. Finally, you have to write the integral constant c. Okay. So, this is equals to 1 by m into x power 2. That is x squared by 2 plus m log mod x plus x power m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus m power x by log m to the base e plus c. Okay. Again, you can write it as, since you are having x squared by 2 in the first term, right? So, you would write it as x squared by 2m, 2 into m is 2m, plus m log mod x, plus x power m plus 1 by m plus 1, plus x power, sorry, m power x by log m to the base e plus c. So, this completes the second problem. Okay. Fine. So, we have seen two problems in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.